Hello, hello. What is going on? You're watching DS Tech Media. And I am your host, Jay. Today, we are going to be looking at backing up Linux and specifically four forms of backup that I have tried or recommend for backing up your Linux system. So those four uh, backup solutions are Aptic, Deja Dupe, which is also known as Backup on Ubuntu, Back in Time, and Time Shift. And we're going to take a look at each one individually here. So both Aptic and Time Shift are from this developer here shout out to TG Tech and it says Aptic a system migration tool for Linux and the version I use is actually gonna look a little different from this because he's showing version 1906 here and he actually is charging for the latest versions but up to the version that I have is the latest available free version and we can use this to back up your repositories your packages your user accounts groups mount entries scheduled tasks icons themes and fonts home directory data and deconf settings Okay, so this is the opening page, and you can choose to back up or restore. And they have easy, advanced, and expert mode. We're just going to leave it on expert. You can back up all of your repositories and PPAs. Uh, you'll have to enable any of them that you have disabled if you want to back those up as well. The cache will consist of all of your cached uh, deb files, which everything you install through uh, sudo apt or sudo apt get install stays in here until you do a clean or auto remove and packages is more comprehensive as it stores literally everything and you can actually choose from all of these uh, selection so you can just do plain installed which would literally be everything and you can do by distribution so everything that came installed with the distribution everything your user is installed auto I guess is post clean installation automatic updates or suggested up updates or installed packages everything that you've manually installed which doesn't seem to show up as anything for me for whatever reason uh, these are all the foreign packages well outside from outside sources you can do just your libraries these are all the icons themes and fonts and of course we can do user file backups uh, groups manually created groups rather you can back up your home directory okay so this would be like user permissions and this would be home folders and if 
you want to back up mounts, you can do that as well. You can back up your decomps, your cron jobs, and of course there's icons and themes. Um, these are system wide, so there's more here than what was in my user. Same with the fonts. Not sure about this file selection. Nothing comes up. I guess I guess you can manually select files and folders here. Same with scripts. And then they give you a terminal so that you can move things around and whatnot. And yeah, this is a really good t uh, tool for if you want to migrate your system. Okay, so next up we're going to look at Deja Dupe, which if you're running Ubuntu desktop, which I am, Ubuntu actually just calls this backups. And it's pretty simple and straightforward. The main function of it is actually to back up your home directory. So everything in your home directory, all your personal files, your media. And by default, it ignores trash and downloads. But beyond that, you can choose a network server. You can do a Google Drive. And if you have a Nextcloud account or other integrated uh, online accounts that are applicable, you can use those. And you can have it uh, do scheduled backups as well. And the good thing about this is it comes pre-installed with Ubuntu, so this is pretty much the default backup solution. Next up is Back in Time. Back in Time uh, supports encryption, which Dejadupe also supports encryption. But I think you have to specify that after the backup is done. Local encrypted, SSH, SSH encrypted, advanced, you can schedule it for all of the different intervals. You set all of your includes here, all of your excludes here, which they have a bunch of sane excludes. can set it to auto remove older backups and let's see we can enable notifications disable while on battery run only one snapshot at a time backup replaced files on restore continue on that's a cool feature to back up anything it's going to replace when you do a restore continue on errors in order to keep incomplete snapshots Use checksums to detect changes. Take a new snapshot regardless of whether there were changes or not. You can log nothing. You can log the errors or changes and errors. Or you can log everything. Run as rsync with nice. It's a permission level. Run as rsync with input output nice. As a cron job default enabled. Run rsync with machine, please install no cache to enable this option. Redirect s standard out to dev null and cron jobs, default enabled. Limit rsync ban bandwidth usage, that's for backing up over a network. Preserve uh, access control list. Preserve extended attributes. Copy unsafe links, works only with absolutes. Copy links. Difference symbolic links. So yeah, you're gonna want to leave this alone if you don't know what you're doing. I'll be honest, I don't know all of this means, but this is a commonly recommended backup tool. And last but not least, 
we have time shift. So I use time shift pretty often. And time shift on your first run, it creates a complete system snapshot. And from there, it will take and only do the changes to the files in order to make sure it doesn't take up too much space. And this is not really designed for your home folder, though you can use it to do that. And it comes with a a uh, setup wizard. You can use rsync, which is what most people are going to want to use, or you can use uh, ButterFS. You are only going to use ButterFS if you're on a ButterFS uh, home or system installation which is probably not too common but there are plenty of advanced users who do choose to use ButterFS. You can only use ButterFS if you're on a ButterFS installation. You should not use rsync if you're on a ButterFS installation. This allows you to choose where you're going to be saving to and you can schedule snapshots for schedule, monthly, weekly, daily, hourly boot, and how many it should keep as it fills up. And then they have specifically user home directories. So you can exclude all, meaning nothing from your home directory is going to be backed up. And you can choose to include only hidden. So that's everything with a period at the beginning. And that would be like a configurations. So if you wanted to purchase Aptic, he's selling a single user lifetime license for $25. And the current version I'm using is 18.8. And you can get Aptic from tgtech.in. Alternatively, this uh, website here has the uh, PPA with the 1808 version. And in order to have the graphical version, you need to install Aptic as well as Aptic GTK. Time shift, he has the GitHub linked on his website, which is also through his PPA. And of course, I will be providing links. Back in time is also available through several sources, and I will be linking the GitHub page for that as well. For Deja Dupe, it is automatically installed in Ubuntu. The latest code is available on the GNOME Project's GitLab, and I will be including that as well. So that's it. That's four uh, separate backup solutions. Uh, at present, I'm using both Aptic and TimeShift separately for my backups. But uh, let me know what you use. Let me know what you thought. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always leave those in the comments section. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. It only takes a second to hit the like button, and it would help me out a great deal. And of course, you should subscribe if you want to come back for other content as I post new content at least every couple of weeks. I try to do it more often than that, but it really depends on the project. For instance, right now I'm working on a very large project that will show you how to start from scratch producing music and audio with Linux. And as usual, I thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.